cancel. Sweezy. Why do I feel like I'm cheating when a guy friend says he has a crush on me, even if I don't reciprocate and reject him? I just feel so bad about it for some reason, even though I haven't done anything really. Okay. Uh, the, the answer to your question is, I haven't really done anything really. Okay. Sounds like you're... <laughs> okay. Uh, I feel like I'm cheating on a guy friend's... Actually, you didn't mention you had a boyfriend. Okay. I'm going to assume you have a boyfriend. Uh, why do I feel like I'm cheating when a guy friend says he has a crush on me? I don't... Like, because... I'd assume it's not cheating. If you're single, and it's not cheating. If you're like, eh, I'm not really into you, that's not cheating. So I'm assuming you have a partner at this point. Uh, but when, here's the thing. Uh, you're, why you feel like you're cheating? Uh, you're clearly emotionally cheating on uh, the, the actual person you're dating. Because there's no, I mean, you know, like, it's okay. You know, I don't, I'm not against, like, you know, uh, you know, women and men being friends, you know, like I have friends who are women and shit like that, but it's like at a point where it's like, there's no like sexual tension between us or anything, you know, it's, there's nothing going on in between us, you know, and it's like, cause I have a friend who's a woman and it's like, will you date me? I'm like, ew, fucking no. Uh, that's the way, like you can't be friends, you can't be friends with the opposite sex unless you're like, you No, like that's the, that's the terms I believe in that regard. Um, but yeah, a hundred percent. It sounds it sounds like you've uh, it sounds like this has happened multiple times in your life. So uh, something I'm gonna probably just take away from this without knowing you is the fact that uh, you're pretty much emotionally cheating. So this guy you're dating is uh, very much into you, and it's basically any sexual part of your relationship. Uh, what? basically is, like, fulfilled in this relationship. However, there's an emotional aspect of it that you're not getting. So you're going to other men for that. That's what it 100% sounds like to me. And, uh, yeah, I think that's wrong because, uh, one, uh, you're basically having a relationship with another man that's not sexual. And uh, I believe that a man who's going to, like, emotionally fulfill you and stuff like that, you got to touch his wiener. That's just how it is. You have to touch his wiener because you're not. It's kind of just basically, uh, you're basically just using him. And, you know, I'm not saying, like, sex is important, but uh, there's a balance in life. And the balance has to involve getting your wiener touched. That's how it is, uh, you know. This is the type of guy you get. So, that. So, basically, yeah, basically why you feel bad is because you're emotionally cheating. And people are like, is emotional cheating as bad as, you know, regular cheat as, like, physically cheating? Like, yeah, they're both bad. I think I might have answered that a couple weeks ago, but uh may have drank too much, and I don't forget. But yeah, they're both just as bad, to be honest with you. The sex part is like, it just makes you feel gross because like fluids were involved. Uh, but emotionally, it's just like, yeah, but the guy might not give a shit that you're emotionally cheating. He's like, yeah, I found this girl. She has sex with me. And then she doesn't bother me with her problems. So it's really nice. Like I've, I hit the jackbox, fella. Jack. Jackpot, fellas. Jackbox. Fucking party pack. Uh, jackpot, fellas. So, yeah. Just remember, you're emotionally cheating, not physically cheating. Uh, and uh, if you have you need emotional support, do not go. Make sure the guy you're touching, the guy who's winning you're touching, he has to, you know, kind of be that emotional relationship with you, not uh, just some random fun guy. What? Hey there, you just checked out a highlight from Cancel Sweezy. Thank you very much. I'm glad that you learned something and that you are now a smarter individual. Uh, just so you know, we have full episodes and other many, many highlights available now. Uh, click here for the next best thing that you can go check out as well. And uh, make sure you press that subscribe button and press that notification bell. That way you get updated anytime we make a new post or any time that we make a new highlight or full episode. So thank you, honk if you love butt drugs, and stay awesome.